Organization Central Tower. Labyrinthos. Labyrinthos? Hallelujah! And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. That voice. Stop. Where are you going? Let me go! Daddy! Daddy's calling for me! Daddy? Is that really him? That's Joachim Mizrahi. And hell Without a doubt. Into the lake That's of fire. Joachim Mizrahi. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire! Rejoice, all ye! The time for feasting has come! This before me. Is this really Milsha from 14 years ago?
Is that... a church? Junior! How did you all get here? Beats me. As soon as you dived, everything went all hazy. And the next thing I knew, we were here. After that, there were all sorts of visions. Did we all get pulled into the Chief's Encephalon dive? That's impossible. None of you were connected. 
If Cosmos oscillation pulse caused a countercurrent to flow through the dive unit, it's not inconceivable. The ones we use are non-contact types, after all. Even if that were the case, the simple dive unit couldn't handle that great a load. There would have to be some other external force. I've been waiting a long time for all of you. <gasps> Regardless of how we got here, this is Cosmos mainframe. Our memories found a common resonance within her, and resulted in the creation of this world. That's what it feels like to me. But I don't remember ever being in a place like this. I wonder if perhaps memories, in other words, events that occurred in the past, become stronger, more selective, and gain a higher priority when they resonate with others that share identical axes in time and space. If you think about it in those terms, it isn't quite so odd that both my memories and those of Alan are not reflected here. So, what you're saying is, this world is constantly changing based on the experiences people share in time and space? A world made up of our past, as glimpsed through the mind of Cosmos. So, it's all an illusion? There's no difference between illusion and reality to the person experiencing it. This is no illusion. Chief. All of you must accept the entirety of your memories. So that's what she meant. Is inside of the chief's soul? This is the acute neurosis treatment facility, a place you know well. The room where mom was hospitalized. Yes. A place where painful, sorrowful memories linger. I wonder, can you face them? As I <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall, show me, define me. <laughs> I am the infinite telemaras. I am not an anti-existence. I am the perfect chain. <laughs> Everyone! 
one. Be careful.
call it a day! I am sorry, Xion. I know it was hard for you. But there are two of you. The woman sitting over there isn't me. It's just an image created for the girls. An illusion. This is their world. Created solely for Cecily and Kat. I am using Cosmos Encephalon construction abilities to show it to all of you. But they seem to be so happy. Would you say that if you were to see this? Huh? This is just an illusion that traps them here. A binding spell created by mankind to control the Zohar. But as far as they know, this world is reality. I want you to release my sisters. Please, for the future of the Realians as well. The future of the Realians? Not just for their future, but for the future of humans, non-humans, and all matter of living consciousness. Feb and I can only exist in this world of consciousness. We can only come into contact with the real world for a short time. That is why I called for all of you, so that the future may be changed. Change? The future? Look. of the space-time anomaly that engulfed Milsha 14 years ago. What you just saw was a vision of the future, where Udu encounters Cosmos 
in the form in which she was meant to be. Buddha will awaken soon. He feeds upon the consciousness of those who intend to awaken him, as well as those who wish to seek him. It's gonna wake up... soon! The future you just saw is but one of an infinite set of potential phenomena. But that does not mean that the future is already set. Even the smallest of waves can spread throughout the whole. Phenomena change with every moment, just like a drifting wave. Are you saying that we're that wave? Yet before it all begins, I wanted you to face your past. But I see you are not ready yet. I am sorry. But why us? Xi'an, you were once touched by a Gnosis. Huh? Despite that, you remain unchanged, the same as before. That is why... That's why? There will be a time when I can discuss why, if you go back to Melsha. The place where it all began. Then, you will see. Wait! Cosmos. So, this is your... Ye shall be as gods. Disarming. Subconscious domain protection. Morning, Cosmos. Good morning, Xi'an. Well, looks like we all managed to make it back. Chief! Oh, I'm so relieved you're okay. Uh, Alan? <laughs> 